underneath the visible world, some believe there exists an unseen hand directing the course of history. Imagine a clandestine group, the Illuminati, pulling the strings from the shadows, orchestrating global events. The allure of conspiracy theories is undeniable. They give us puzzles to solve, mysteries to unravel, and provide a sense of order in an often chaotic world. But what if there was some truth to these tales of shadowy puppet masters? Would you dare to uncover it? Our journey begins in the 18th century, in a country known as Bavaria. A land steeped in tradition, Bavaria was the birthplace of a group that would go on to become a subject of intrigue and speculation for centuries to come. The Bavarian Illuminati. The year was 1776, when a young professor named Adam Weishaupt decided to form a secret society. Weishaupt was a man of the Enlightenment, a period of history marked by a shift towards reason and away from traditional authority. He was frustrated by the stranglehold of religion and the monarchy on society and sought to challenge it. His solution was the Bavarian Illuminati, a group dedicated to the opposition of religious influence over public life and the prevention of abuses of state power. Weishaupt was ambitious. He didn't just want to form a group, he wanted to change the world. So he set about recruiting, but he wasn't looking for just anyone. He wanted influential people. Freemasons, politicians, intellectuals, these were the kinds of people Weishaupt sought to bring into his fold. His aim was to create a network of influence that could affect real change. However, as with all things that challenge the status quo, the Bavarian Illuminati couldn't remain under the radar for long. Word of this secret society spread and the Bavarian government felt threatened. The group was outlawed and its members were persecuted. The once promising Bavarian Illuminati was seemingly crushed under the weight of the very power structures it sought to challenge. But here's where things get interesting. Was this the end of the Illuminati or just the beginning of their true story? After all, the most enduring aspect of the Illuminati isn't their original goals or their 18th century formation. Rather, it's the speculation, the theories, the myths that have continued to swirl around them for centuries. If we're to truly understand the Illuminati, we must delve into these murky waters of conjecture and conspiracy. So buckle up, because things are about to get a whole lot more interesting. Fast forward to a world far removed from 18th century Bavaria, yet the whispers of the Illuminati still echo. In a time of bell-bottom jeans and flower power, the 1960s, the Illuminati made a surprising comeback. Not in the form of a secret society, but as a theory, a conspiracy that began to worm its way into the public consciousness. This was a time of change, a time when people began to question the world around them, and the Illuminati theory found fertile ground to grow. The New World Order, a concept that has been around for centuries, became entwined with the Illuminati theories. The idea of a secretive, world-dominating organization fit neatly into the narrative of a global elite controlling the masses. The Illuminati became the puppet masters in this grand scheme, pulling the strings of governments, economies, and even our personal lives. And then, the digital age dawned. As technology advanced, so did the theories. The Illuminati were no longer just a secret society from the past, but a present force, manipulating the world through the invisible threads of the Internet. Theories spread, evolved, and multiplied at a pace never seen before. Popular culture wasn't immune to this trend. Music, movies, even fashion became entwined with Illuminati symbolism and theories. Some saw this as proof of the Illuminati's influence, while others dismissed it as mere coincidence or, at times, a marketing ploy. Politics, too, became a breeding ground for Illuminati theories. Leaders were scrutinized for signs of allegiance to the secret society. Policies were dissected, looking for hidden agendas that might serve the Illuminati's supposed goal of world domination. From the 1960s counterculture to today's digital world, the Illuminati theories have thrived. They've adapted, evolved, and permeated every aspect of our lives. But as we delve deeper into these theories, we must ask ourselves, how much of this is based on fact and how much is a product of our collective imagination? It seems the Illuminati have moved far beyond their Bavarian roots, but how much of this is fact, and how much is pure fiction? In the digital age, the Illuminati appear omnipresent, from cryptic symbols on currency to alleged celebrity members. 
The internet is a veritable playground for conspiracy theorists, offering countless threads to pull on in their quest for hidden truths. The Illuminati, with their supposed secret society status and their rumored influence over global events, are a popular subject of these investigations. Theories about the Illuminati today are as varied as they are fascinating. Some believe that the group manipulates economies, orchestrates wars, and even controls the weather. Others point to the prevalence of certain symbols in popular culture, pyramids, all-seeing eyes and the like, as evidence of the Illuminati's pervasive influence. There are even theories that claim that the Illuminati have infiltrated the highest levels of governments and corporations, pulling strings behind the scenes to steer the course of human history. Yet, it's important to remember that these are just that, theories. While it's tempting to imagine a shadowy group pulling the world's strings, the reality is likely far less dramatic. The Illuminati, if they exist at all, are probably not omnipotent puppet masters, but rather a group of individuals with shared interests and goals. That's not to say that these theories are without merit. They reflect a deep-seated human desire to make sense of a complex and often chaotic world. They offer a narrative, a story that helps us understand the forces at play in our lives. And in a world where power is often concentrated in the hands of a few, it's not hard to see why the idea of a secret society can be so compelling. The Illuminati may be more myth than reality, yet their shadow looms large in our collective imagination. Whether they are puppet masters, symbols of power imbalance, or simply a product of our fascination with the unknown, one thing is clear. The Illuminati, real or imagined, continue to captivate us, fueling our curiosity and our quest for understanding. So what is the truth behind the Illuminati? Are they the puppet masters they're painted to be? The answer isn't as simple as you might think. Let's delve into the logical and historical inconsistencies in many Illuminati theories. First off, it's important to consider the sheer breadth of the Illuminati's supposed influence. Some theories suggest that they control everything from the world's financial systems to its climate. Now, anyone with a basic understanding of these vastly complex systems will tell you that such control is virtually impossible. It requires a level of coordination and power that is beyond any known organization. Then there's the issue of secrecy. The Illuminati is often depicted as a shadowy group that operates entirely behind the scenes. Yet, the amount of information supposedly leaked about their operations would suggest a level of transparency not seen in even the most open of societies. This contradiction seems to go unnoticed by many. Moving on to the historical context, the Illuminati was a group that existed in the late 18th century in Bavaria, Germany. Their goal was to oppose religious influence over public life and abuses of state power. They were suppressed and disbanded less than 15 years after their formation. The link between this historical group and the modern conspiracy theories is tenuous at best. However, this isn't to say that powerful groups with undue influence don't exist. There are indeed organizations that wield significant power, both openly and covertly. But attributing all societal ills to a single, all-powerful group like the Illuminati is an oversimplification that distracts from the real issues at hand. The danger lies in misinformation and the lack of critical thinking. It's easy to fall into the trap of accepting sensational theories at face value, but it's crucial to question, research, and think critically. Whether the Illuminati exist or not, their story serves as a cautionary tale about the power of belief and the spread of unverified information. In the end, the Illuminati may be less about secret societies and more about our own human nature. As we've journeyed through the origins, rumors, and modern interpretations of the Illuminati, it's essential to remember that the true essence of this narrative lies within us, our perceptions, and our inherent desire to make sense of the world. We've explored the roots of the Illuminati from its inception in the 18th century to its rumored influence today. However, the story is not merely about a clandestine group, but about how we as humans seek patterns, connections, and narratives. We've delved into the myriad theories surrounding the Illuminati, from the plausible to the absurd. These theories, while varied, all stem from our innate tendency to construct narratives, to fill in gaps, and to make sense of the seemingly nonsensical. Conspiracy theories like those surrounding the Illuminati often arise from this human propensity We've also examined the Illuminati's supposed presence today, 
highlighting the power of stories, myths, and symbols in shaping our perception of reality. Whether or not the Illuminati exists in the form we imagine, the narrative has a life of its own. It's a reflection of our collective fears, hopes, and curiosities. The Illuminati, real or imagined, remind us of the power of stories and the importance of questioning the world around us.